In lesson seven, we're going to look at charts. I'm going to show you how to insert a chart into your Word document, change the chart type, enter data for the chart using Microsoft Excel. We'll look at the chart style gallery, and I'll show you how to move and resize your charts. Okay, if you still have this smart art from the last lesson, let's go ahead and get rid of it by clicking on the frame and then pressing delete. Now this lesson involving charting is going to involve Microsoft Excel. If you don't have Excel on your computer, then the stuff I'm going to cover in this lesson is going to be different for you. Most versions of Microsoft Office come with Excel. However, if you bought Microsoft Word by itself, then you're not going to have some of these charting features. You can still create charts. However, without Excel, it's going to use the old Word 2003 charting engine, which is significantly different. I will cover it in a future lesson, but this lesson is going to require Microsoft Excel to be on your computer. So let's say I want to make a basic sales chart. Go ahead and click on the chart button. That's going to open up the insert chart dialog box. There are a ton of different kinds of charts. There's column charts and line charts and pie charts and bar charts and all kinds of different charts. And you can scroll up and down and see all the different kinds of charts that are in here. I'm not going to cover all of these today. In fact, I'm going to cover these in much, much more detail in my Excel classes. However, for today, let's pick a simple column chart. I'll pick this very first column chart. Then I'll click OK. Now you will see Microsoft Excel will load up if you have it installed on your computer. Now I have a much more in-depth Excel lesson available, so I'm not going to cover a lot with Excel today. Excel is a spreadsheet, and a spreadsheet essentially has data that goes up and down in columns and across in rows. And where they intersect, that's called a cell. For example, that's cell B3. Over here, that's cell D4. And you don't really have to know a lot about spreadsheets in order to use Excel for the purposes of making a chart in Word. Word only uses Excel to store the data. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a basic sales chart. So I'll come across the top here. I'll click in cell B1. And then I'll type in January, just J-A-N, tab, to move across to the next cell, February, tab, and then March. Then we'll put some sales reps in here. I'll click over here in cell A2. I'll type in Joe. I'll press enter to move down. Sue, enter, Bill, enter, and Stan, enter. If you want to add another one, I'll just type in Rick down here and press enter. And notice Excel automatically extended the chart size for me. See that? It says to resize the chart data range, drag the lower right corner. Well, you can simply click here and drag if you want to. Or, by simply adding more data, Excel will usually extend that range for you automatically. All right, so I can type in some data for me. And you can also use the arrow keys to move up and down between these different cells. But let's say I want to come over here and put April in. I'll just type in April, APR. And then you can see Excel automatically extends the range for me. So that's not too terribly hard. And once again, if you want to learn more about Excel, I've got a million different Excel tutorials on my website. Now when you're done entering your data for your chart, just go ahead and close Excel. You'll see that that data is automatically updated inside Microsoft Word. There's a new chart tools section on the ribbon with a bunch of different options. There's design, layout, format, and again, there's a million different options in here. Some of them, like these shape styles we've already looked at, there's also things like text wrapping that should be familiar to you. And again, I'm not going to cover all these options today, but here are the important ones. If you want to change the chart type, click over here on chart type. That'll bring this guy back up, and you can change the style of the chart. For example, if you decide you want a line chart instead of a column chart, click there. For now, I'm just going to hit Cancel. 
If you want to edit your data, click on the Edit Data button. That will bring Excel back up. Make whatever changes you need in Excel, and then close it. There's the Chart Style Gallery, where you can pick from the different color styles that are available for your charts. For example, here's red. Drop this down, and you'll see a whole bunch more. On the Layout tab, you're going to see a whole bunch of different options that we're not going to cover today. There's a lot you can do with charting. You can change the axes and the grid lines and the plot area and add trend lines and all this stuff. This is all more advanced stuff that we're going to cover in the Expert Series. The Format tab has a lot of options that should look familiar by now. You've got your text wrapping options, your positioning, your shape styles. A lot of these options work the same whether you're working with pictures or clip art or smart art or even charts. And of course, charts behave like most other objects. You can grab the corners and resize them. You can grab the edges and move them around. We might have to turn text wrapping on. All right, text wrapping, square. And now we can take this chart and move it where we want to, like over here. And there's a real basic chart. And again, I only wanted to spend a couple of minutes showing you how charts work. We'll talk a lot more about them in the expert classes and in my Excel classes.